The Escape of Pascal Payet is an incredible true story that shook the world. It's the story of a daring jailbreak in 2001 when convicted criminal Pascal Payet orchestrated his own escape from a maximum security prison in southern France. With only one accomplice and no outside help, he managed to break out of a facility that had been considered escape-proof for decades. His daring plan was full of clever adaptations and ingenious improvisations, making it one of the most daring prison escapes in modern history. This is the story of Pascal Payet's incredible jailbreak, a thrilling tale of intrigue, determination, and sheer audacity. The prison in the village of Luigna in the French department of bouche du rhone is a place steeped in history. It stands as a reminder of a cruel past when prisoners were punished and disciplined with harsh methods. The building has seen many changes over its more than two centuries of operation, but the underlying principles of incarceration remain virtually unchanged. The prison has been used to incarcerate criminals, political dissidents, and wartime prisoners over the years providing an important insight into how European justice systems operated prior to more modern times. This imposing structure, built with the latest technology and security measures, was once considered the most secure prison in the region, with a reputation for being virtually escape-proof. However, this all changed when the daring escape of Pascal Payet, who became the first prisoner in the history of the Luinia prison to break out. His daring feat captured the imagination of the public and put spotlight on the prison which was now seen as vulnerable and in need of improvement. The escape of Pascal Payet sparked a heated debate about prison security and the effectiveness of the current system. Pascal Payet is a notorious French criminal known for his spectacular helicopter prison breaks. Pascal Payet was born in the bustling city of Montpelier in France, where he spent his childhood years surrounded by the sights and sounds of the city. However, his family soon moved to the charming city of Lyon, where he spent his formative years. It was here that Pascal Payet first encountered the rough and tumble world of crime, which would later shape his life in ways he never could have imagined. As he grew older, Pascal Payet made his way to Marseille, where he fell in with the wrong crowd. In 1988, he was convicted of a violent crime and sent to prison. Undeterred by his experience behind bars, Pascal Payet continued down the path of crime and was convicted again in 1993 for conspiracy. He participated in a daring attack on the Banque de France armored car in Salon de Provence, during which a guard was tragically killed. Despite the severity of the crime, Pascal Payet continued to evade the authorities until he was finally arrested along with Eric Albereno in Paris in January 1999. From that moment on, Pascal Payet's life would never be the same. He was sentenced to a long prison term and locked up in some of France's most secure facilities. However, even behind bars, Pascal Payet continued to make headlines becoming the first prisoner in French history to escape not once, but twice. Pascal Payet first made headlines around the world in 2001 when he escaped from prison. It was a daring and audacious escape that sent shockwaves across France. Payet had been serving a 30-year sentence for terrorism and murder, but managed to break out of jail using a hijacked helicopter. This spectacular escape involved him being picked up by an accomplice and airlifted away from the prison grounds. Payet then became a legend overnight, making appearances on television shows and in newspapers across the world. In France, he was celebrated as a heroic figure by some people who viewed him as a revolutionary freedom fighter. His escape spawned an international manhunt with police putting out warrants for his arrest. Payet's freedom, however, did not last long. In October of the year 2003, one of his accomplices, Mpoko, was captured and hauled in for questioning in Paris as the authorities were anxious to keep Pascal behind bars. He was eventually spotted and arrested in the same year while visiting a friend in Spain. However, Pascal's determination was not easily thwarted. In April 2003, Pascal masterminded yet another daring helicopter escape, this time freeing Franck Perilletto, Mikhail Valero, and Eric Albareo from the Luinia prison. The three men had been arrested with Pascal in 1999, and he was determined to help them escape to freedom. In a daring operation, the four of them were whisked away by a helicopter the authorities were once again left stunned. However, their freedom was short-lived, and they were caught again three weeks later. In January 2005, Pascal was sentenced to 30 years in prison for murder of a guard which took place in 1999, along with the 1997 armored car hijacking in Salon de Provence. Despite being behind bars, Pascal was not content to sit quietly in his cell. 
In December 2005, he published an open letter in his blog entitled, The Saga of My Transfers, in which he criticized the condition of his imprisonment. He had gone on a hunger strike at a prison in Metz, in protest against being transferred nine times in 30 months. His letter was a powerful statement against the harsh conditions of the prison system, and it drew attention to the plight of prisoners like Pascal. By the year 2007, Pascal Payet was one of the most infamous and closely watched prisoners in France. He had earned a reputation as a daring and cunning criminal, and as a result, he was never kept in the same prison for more than six months. To ensure his safekeeping, Pascal was a prisoner who was kept in solitary confinement and was subject to heightened surveillance. Despite the stringent measures taken to keep him behind bars, Pascal kept on planning another escape. On July 14, 2007, the country was celebrating Bastille Day, a national holiday that commemorates the storming of the Bastille Prison in 1789. It was on this day that Pascal and his accomplices executed the most audacious prison break in French history. It was a dark and stormy night in Grass, France, when all of a sudden the peace was interrupted by a loud roar of a helicopter. In the heart of the celebrations, four masked men hijacked a helicopter from Cannes Mandelieu Airport and made their way to Grass Prison, where Pascal was being held in solitary confinement. Prison guards sprang into action, rushing to the roof of the high security facility to investigate the commotion. The helicopter swooped down, and in a daring move, Pascal was snatched from his cell and whisked away to freedom. Despite the valiant efforts of the guards, the operation was over in just five minutes. And the 43-year-old Payet, who was still serving a 30-year sentence for the murder during an armored car heist in 1999, was nowhere to be found. The helicopter then landed in the town of Brignol, where Pascal and his accomplices fled the scene. The pilot was released unharmed, but the authorities were left stunned. Two days after the daring escape, a European arrest warrant was issued against Pascal Payet. News of his escape spread like wildfire, and people across the country were in shock. A nationwide uproar resulted in Pascal Payet's prison break, and the manhunt for him was one of the largest in French history. Pascal Payet's daring and dangerous escapades were finally brought to a halt in September 2007, when he was captured in the town of Mataro, near Barcelona, Spain. He was transferred to French custody along with his two accomplices and imprisoned in a secret location for security reasons. In June 2008, the criminal court of the Alp Maritime Department sentenced Payet to 15 years in prison with no chance of early release for a series of armed robberies and assaults against police officers during his time on the run. And in April 2011, the criminal court of Bouche de Ron added an additional five years to pay its sentence for his 2007 prison escape. His accomplices also faced years in prison, while some other prisoners deemed complicit in the escape received lesser sentences. Despite his infamous reputation, Payet's incredible escapes and criminal exploits had profound effect on the French criminal justice system and on the entire nation. As people were left in awe of his audacity and cunning, his daring feats captured the attention of many. This story was subject to numerous TV shows and articles. The Netflix original, White Rabbit Project, even featured an episode on him, where host Grant Imahara narrated the story while it was reenacted by French actor Thierry Bourard. Payet's story remains an inspiration for those who admire daring and fearless individuals. His legacy as a criminal mastermind and a man who dared to challenge the limits of the law will live on forever. However, his captivation with freedom ultimately proved to be his downfall, as he was brought to justice for his crimes and forced to pay the price for his life of crime.